Can you believe it? Second guitar in two weeks. Okay, I should say that I placed two orders at the same time. So that's why I'm getting two guitars in two weeks. I, I placed these orders months ago, but they were ready around the same time. And that means two unboxings in the same month. Let's open it up. So the model this time is a Crescent seven string multi-scale, my first ever seven string and my first ever multi-scale. Ooh, it's much heavier. It's much heavier. True love is you receiving this box hours ago and waiting for me to get here to open it. Okay, here we go. I'm more nervous this time because I, wait, tell tell people that I had created okay. it. Okay, yeah, you did help design this one. Yeah. It's the Thick Griff Thursday guitar. It is Thick Griff Thursday Architect Tiger Studios colors. Do the headstock peak again. Oh my God. Oh sh Oh, the gold hardware. Yes. The gold hardware. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. Wow. Whoa, that is crazy. Look at the wood there. But there's I like there's like a V. That's so cool. That's, beautiful. That's so cool. Remy loves it. I love the cream pickups. I love the cream the cream pickups and, and the, the cream hardware the and truss rod cover. Oh, it's so cool. I okay. We're gonna look at the back now. Oh, oh <laughs> the mahogany no. body. Yeah, the mahogany is beautiful. And look at the sides. Time to plug it in. By the way, I had them tune it to drop F sharp. This is gonna be my new drop F sharp guitar. Such a cool headstock too. It sounds awesome. This is such a cool looking guitar. The mid gain tones are really nice on this too. All right, welcome back to Thick Riff Thursday. I filmed that unboxing a few days ago and I've just been playing this guitar ever since. Dude, it absolutely rips. I love it. Okay, so my riff idea starts out with like a little thing that I think I want to get kind of crazy over with the drums. So I want to start it out with kind of like a crazy syncopated thing between the guitar and the drums, maybe with some blast beats, and then go into a more straightforward heavy groove afterwards that relates to the crazy blasty stuff that goes before it. So yeah, I kind of have an idea for what I want to do. I've got some holes here and there to fill, but let me get a tempo for this. It's like... A little faster. Let's try like 104. Yeah, that'll be like the groovy part. And then obviously this like much crazier riffy section will be the first part. Yeah, I think that's how I want to end it. Trying to figure out where I want to put my goddamn legs. 
Dude, with stuff like that, like single notes down here in the lower register, this guitar sounds crazy. Yeah, I think that's how I'll end it. Two, three, four. Oh, I wasn't recording. God damn it. Dude, Logic. Logic did this update. I mean, I updated from like a really old version, but Logic did this update. It used to be so that when you had the input monitoring on, it would just be like, oh, you probably want to record this track. Cool. So when you hit record, it would just record that track that you had input monitoring on. But now it makes you hit the R and I'm not used to that. So I've done so many good takes. That wasn't a good take, but I've done so many good takes where logic just doesn't get it because it doesn't, it updated and it does some, it does some weird stuff now. It does some weird stuff now and it's annoying. Get it together, Apple. That was actually a really good take. <laughs> That's going to be fun to figure out drum parts for. And then after that, I just want to do that heavy groove thing. That's a cool riff. I like that. Drum time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the first four bars and I'm just going to let that loop for a little bit. I think that was pretty good. Um, I obviously can't get the double kicks when I'm doing the blast beat because I don't have a double kick pedal, but I think that was pretty good. Get some other symbols going on too. Kick was a little late. That's a mess. I'm just gonna copy and paste those kicks. Yeah, that should be lighter. 16th notes on the kick. Just copy and paste. Yeah, some of the snares are a little hard. Even them out and then pull them all up at the same time, like that. I don't want those snares to be that hard. A little unrealistic. Let's pull those down. Nice. You know what I could do on the guitar accents is hit the bell of the ride. Those higher notes on the guitar, the bell's hitting. So like, bam, 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 bam. Find it here and then I'll punch them in and delete the other rides. Yeah, okay. Let's do drums for the groovy riff now. Okay, sweet. That is the amount of groove that I was looking for. One problem I was having with the kit just now was uh, I was hitting the splash because on my left crash where I was leading, I, I also have the um, splash on the top trigger of that symbol. So I was accidentally hitting that on the in-between main hits. So I got to put all the splashes down. That's not too big a problem. There were a couple times where I hit the splash on purpose. So I got to look out for that. It's so tight and beefy. These beryllium pickups. Actually, I just have the one beryllium pickup. Just the, just the bridge pickup. That beryllium pickup is ripping. <laughs> Kiesel's not really known for their pickups, but like their pickups are insane. Their pickups are crazy good. Yeah, let's get a good take of that. Just, just, it's just sloppy. Shake it off. Dude, 
just a little sloppy on the on those two notes, but I can punch that in from another take. That felt really good. I think I could get like, I could punch those in and get it really clean. That was, that was really clean. Time to program bass. Come on, I need you to work for me. Octave down button. Three, four. So then it goes. Cool. There we go. We got bass. Hell yeah. This is thick and heavy and groovy and nasty. We could do more to it, I guess, like production wise with like more guitar tracks and stuff. Ooh, you know what I did in the riff featuring Mike Semesky was I took these hats, these like trap hats, and I, I just did so, like a little 16th note just panning from left to right. And that really added like so much energy to it. So let's find a good hi-hat sample. That actually might be kind of cool to put like right on the one. Okay, that one's good. And we'll just like. Yeah, that's nice actually. Yeah, there, there doesn't need to be a volume difference between the hi-hat samples. That's fine. Uh, I did like this little roll. I wonder if I could incorporate that somehow. Maybe like right at the beginning. That's kind of dumb, but what if I reverse it into here? Would that be dumb or cool? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, okay, how does that sound? How does that sound? That's actually dope. You know what? To match those hi-hats, what if I do something on this spacey lead and then after the reverb and all the effects and stuff, I put a tremolo on it. A 16th note tremolo. 16th note, 16th, 16th notes, thank you. I don't want it to be offset at all. I want them to be completely in phase with each other and then smoothing very low. Along with the hi-hat and the spacey lead tremolo, I could do white noise doing a 16th note tremolo as well. All right, Splice, give me some white noise. There we go, thank you. That's what I was looking for. And yes, I know I can use the test oscillator in Logic to do that as well, but I'd rather just grab and go, loop it around like that, crossfade them. Um, cool, there we go. It's gonna be super loud. So let's turn that off and let's grab my tremolo that was on the guitar and just copy it over. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna sound. That is incredibly loud. Shh. That, I think that does work nicely as a layer and the white noise together and then I'll turn the white noise off so you can hear what it's doing, what it adds to the production. And then off. Back on. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it just adds a little bit of it. it it's it's kind of just adding to the sound of that 16th note constant thing that we have going on. Put a little mastering chain on there and see what we got from the top.
That's dope. Thank you to Kiesel for sending me this amazing guitar. Thank you for watching this episode of Thick Grip Thursday. If you like my content, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.